This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Ride the bus by the Franz. The Franz. The Franz. The Franz. Sorry. Fran Franz. And uh, we're about to have uh, a guy from their uh, from yeah. their band be our guest today. What's so, his name? Uh, his name is Gabriel. Mm-hmm. Gabriel. 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 Xavier. Xavier. Okay. What part of the country is he in? Uh, Middle Minnesota, Wisconsin. I think he mentioned where they were from here. I don't see. Oh, That's all right. Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, Cleveland rocks. Cleveland rocks. All right. <laughs> let's call him in. Yeah, let's do it. Oh! Gabriel? Hello. 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 <laughs> Greetings. How are you guys? <laughs> is this Gabriel? Greetings. We're great. Good, good. Glad this, to hear it. This is Gabriel? It is. All right, fantastic. I'm Mike. Uh, I think you've spoken to Rusty yeah, before. Yeah, Rusty. So, yeah, uh, nice to meet you guys. Yeah, yeah nice to meet same you here, man. We uh, we just listened to uh, the uh, I Want to Ride the Bus song. Um, cool. And it's it's very good. Uh, so it's like super straightforward. Uh, it's the kind of rock that I like. Would you, How would you classify it? Um, yeah, I'd say I'd say it's kind of a little punk, a little, you know, just yeah. straightforward rock. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that's kind of our anthem. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, kind yeah, of I like our, it. Our, 
our mission statement, if you will. <laughs> you know, it's a new genre. It's transit rock. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, my favorite line is, I don't want to piss in your bottle, baby. That's my, uh, yeah. that's my favorite one. Yeah, that's really yeah, good. I like that. So tell me what the song's about. Um, so our band, uh, The Friends, we are a uh, public transit uh, themed rock group. So all of our music is um, about transit advocacy and um, or or discussing, you know, how highways or cars um, are, you know, depleting resources or subverting um, certain communities from one another. Yeah. Um, and then we also have some like just kind of general fun songs about riding the bus. Yeah. Cool. Um, or taking the train. There's a train system here in Cleveland where we're from. Um, and so, yeah, just some kind of songs that are about like observations or, you know, weird characters we've met on the bus. So that's kind of what the whole band's about. And I think that song kind of summarizes all, all of that. Do you, <laughs> yeah, do awesome. you guys dress like, uh, like train, uh, captains or what, what are they called? Train, train engineers. <laughs> do you dress like bus, bus drivers and, and train guys? No, we should. We should. Yeah. yeah. If it's a four piece band, it should be like the YMCA of transit. That's you could exactly have a, right. a yeah. cab driver, a cab bus, driver, driver, bus driver, a train, train driver, driver, and a rickshaw. Or or oh, a that's a good idea. Or a crossing guard. Or a crossing guard. There, there you yeah. go. There you go. One guy's gotta stop. Yeah. The, the manager dresses that's as the it. crossing that's guard. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. I think I think we just invented a wrestling thing, you know, more so than a band here. Yeah. <laughs> so how long that's, that's our next step. <laughs> sure, sure. How long have you guys been together? Uh, a little under two years. Oh wow! Okay. Yes, yeah. Fresh. Do you perform a lot? We do. Um, we play uh, at least twice a month um, yeah. here in Cleveland, That's and then cool. um, we have our debut record coming out uh, on Saturday, March second. Oh, nice! And then, uh, nice and then show. we're then we're uh, touring um, the Midwest. Really? Um, for ten days. Yeah. Are you uh, Are you guys consider you consider yourself independent, or are you signed somewhere? We're totally independent as okay. of now. All right. So, yeah. Then I'm going to get your information. I want to talk to you about that later. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, so uh, really enjoyed the song. Um, what I would ask, uh, you said March 2nd is your debut of your album? Yeah. So we're having a three-day event, or I guess when this comes out, we would have had a three-day event yeah. um, over the weekend, and it's all music-themed. So if you wanted to send me a couple of pictures and maybe a digital copy of the album, uh, we'll play it at the at the event here. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind pimping your stuff, man. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Just send it over to Rusty. You've already got his information. So do you listen to the show, our show? I do, yeah, yeah. Well, Big thank, King of the Hill fan. Thank you very much for listening. We appreciate it. Yeah, we know that we're uh, kind of the cast off of, of the uh, – the actual show, but uh, we really enjoy doing it. And I tell you what, I've yeah. never I've never met such like dedicated fans. You know? Yeah, and it's a unique fan base too, man. Like I've met people from all walks of life that love King of the Hill, and that's what I like about it is its universality and like what it does to bring a diverse group of fans together. I've met bus drivers, train conductors, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, and then yeah. guys that sing about them. Well, uh, yeah. so what's your? Uh, do you guys have a gig coming up? Uh, you said you're touring for ten days. When does that start? Uh, starts March seventh. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, playing around Ohio yeah. and then uh, to Chicago, St. Louis, Indianapolis, yeah. and Pittsburgh. Yeah, we need so. to get you down here to Texas at some point. Oh, we'd love that. We're we're thinking of a West Coast thing, maybe in the winter. Yeah, man. Next cool. winter, um, cool. and we, we have. We have zero winter here, so you're you're more than welcome. Right, that's that's what I was thinking about. <laughs> that's right. Southwest and the it West is, Coast. What's it like there in in Ohio right now? Oh, it's uh, about 25 degrees and yeah. wind wind chill of 15. I think, so. I think when I I think when I came in the building here, it's 84 degrees outside. Oh, <laughs> I'm I'm jealous. Well, don't... although you know, with with not to get too uh, you know political, but with yeah. global warming, oh we, sure, Cle Cleveland's been you know like. In February, we had a 60 degree day, which was a world record. Oh yeah, um, for well, Cleveland. So. And that, that's kind of a direct reflection to your band, right? I mean, that's what y'all are kind of singing about. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I think that's part of the message is there, there's just so many, so many things that would, uh, you know, be fixed if more people rode the bus. And it's oh, not sure. just like environmental. There's 
like racial issues and gender issues yep. and all these, you know, class issues that are all tied to like uh, car centrism and yeah, we we divide um, our we divide ourselves pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sucks, uh, especially you know here in the Rust Belt. There was like so much of that, and oh really? You know, the mid century. Yeah, a lot of like cities were kind of planned and designed to be a kind of uh, northern um, segregation. Wow. Um, have you, yeah. have you, uh, you ever seen the stuff that, uh, Oh, what's that guy that used to Adam, Adam ruins everything. You ever seen the one about redlining and all that, where the, the cities were planned in a certain way to keep the races apart from each other and stuff. I haven't seen that, but yeah, that's yeah. what I'm referring to. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's very, um, boy, you don't, you don't realize how diabolical these people were that planned all this stuff. Yeah. And still are, you know. Well, that's true. I think even more so at this yeah. point. Yeah, they just hide it better. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, well, dude, it's, it's a lot of fun talking to you. So uh, uh, I'm going to ask you one last question, and then we'll we'll kind of let you go. Um, what uh, What do you think about the continuation slash reboot of King of the Hill? I'm excited for it. You know, yeah. I, I yeah. haven't kept up with the show lately. It was something I watched more as a kid. Like my mm-hmm. step my stepdad and mom. Um, are big fans of the show, and oh, so I grew yeah. up as a kid watching oh, okay. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I wanted to ask you guys: um, <laughs> Do you guys have any King of the Hill quotes that you say regularly? Because my stepdad and I—it's like an inside joke. We have so many quotes that we'll like say to one another. Yeah. And I don't I guess, know if there are uh, any King of the Hill quotes you guys say oh, like, yeah, sure. on a daily basis. You know. Sure. I guess. Uh... Man, well, really... that's not my purse is always, you know, yeah. uh, or, uh, and uh, I don't know you and stuff, you know, it's those, so, I hope those you're not out. picking anyone pocket in the sand. <laughs> Well, you don't know. Yeah. The Shasha, uh, <laughs> Shasha and pocket sand. And oh, that's that. right. We did have yeah. a fan. We yeah. had a fan send us a baggie full of pocket sand. At yeah, one absolutely. Time. Yeah. Oh, it was nice. actually, yeah, uh, it was really good. But oh, uh, it was. anyway, well, it's nice to talk to you, man. And uh, good luck on your on your 10 day tour. Uh, we'll be wishing you well. And like I said, you want to send us some stuff. We'll we'll, pimp yeah, it we'll out check here. it out, man. Best of luck to you. And everything, totally. I appreciate you coming on, man. All right. Nice yeah, to meet you, buddy. For having me. All right. We'll talk yeah, soon. You. Yeah, right. you have a good one. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye. Yeah. He seems like a super nice guy. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Um, I would. Uh, I would ask that everybody go look for this band. What's what's the band called again? The Franz. The Franz. Franz. The Franz. F R A N S. Okay. The Franz. So there you go. And you heard that they are a, uh, a transportation themed band, uh, which I always and like, I like it. Their music. I always like it when you get down to such a niche that you can call yourself uh, on things. <coughs> well, that's what I said. It's like transit rock. That's well, that's the new that's the that's the new wave. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a big fan of this kind of stuff because like. Uh, uh, my buddy Casey and I, you know, we went to see Max Sabbath, which is mm-hmm. that McDonald's themed uh, Black, Black Sabbath, Sabbath band. cover band. Uh, we saw Go Go Gorillas. Uh, it's uh, just four guys dressed like gorillas playing surf rock. Okay. Uh, I mean, we we're big fans of like themed stuff like that. I think. Yeah. It's, I just think it's funny as hell. Yeah. I just I just like music, so yeah, appreciate uh, appreciate Xavier or not Xavier Gabriel for uh, sharing hey, that with us. Just real quick, I'm going to point out one other band. Uh, and, uh, this is not anybody, you know, that necessarily is going to come on the show. I'd love to have them, but, uh, there's a band called Thumpasaurus out there. Uh, I just went to see them, uh, for my second time at the, uh, Deep L Mark company. Oh, um, is that the clip you sent me? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, that is a fantastic band. It puts out, a, it puts out a, uh, like high energy two hour show. I mean, just jumping on everything and letting people up on the stage and all kinds of it's a really really good band yeah yeah uh anytime they're around i'll go see them a little funk uh one of the only bands i know that plays a slideshow behind them the entire time a slideshow like a a powerpoint PowerPoint. you know (laughs) it's got what's it got on it though well they have a guy on stage that controls the graphics behind them and it'll be anything that goes with the songs uh while you're waiting for the band to come on it's just a bunch of animated dinosaurs uh then there's one a uh, song that's dedicated to a horse. Okay. And so <laughs> there's a lot of horses yeah, running that's, around that's and stuff like that. But yeah. anyway, Thumposaurus, if you get to check them out. And Thumpa Thumposaurus. The Franz. Go look for them. Uh, by the time this comes out, uh, well, maybe a couple days, they uh, they have a new album coming yeah. out. So. Well, all right. So one more time, I want to thank, uh, thank him for coming on. Uh, go look at the Franz. And uh, anything you want to mention? The Franz. No, that's it. Franz, Franz. 
Uh, okay, so I have a question for our Friday people. Um, you know, sometimes we struggle to come up with stuff on Fridays, you know, because uh, and we end up reading a cracked article more, more often than not. Yeah. Um, one thing I would like to do, and I just want to see if there's any interest in this out there. Um, I would like to dig a little further into the uh, Mike Judge world where maybe we do like movie reviews of Office Space, Idiocracy, which I did not spell correct on this page, and Extract or something like, you know, any of the yeah. Mike Judge properties. Uh, yeah, I think it'd be cool if we if we did some reviews. But yeah, you guys let me. us know what you think. Uh, also, we hadn't mentioned this in a while. We do have a Patreon. It is just for support, and we would love it if you'd go uh, pick that out. B-W-A-A-A-K-O-T-H. Uh, so go to Patreon, look that up, and you should find us. Yeah, we'd appreciate that. Uh, buttload more shows here at RogueMediaNetwork.com. Always starting new stuff. Um, actually fired off an email this morning to a history blog, trying to do these weird history things on a daily basis. Um, so we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Uh, false crime. Uh, nailed that down, so we should be starting that pretty soon. But uh, the one I really want you guys to listen to is Swimmer's Ear. Swimmer's Ear. Yeah, we'll be putting out a new episode this week. Swimmer's Ear. And uh, it's all Adult uh, Swim-themed stuff. So, want to tell them where they can find us? You can find us at B-W-A-A-A-K-O-T-H dot com. Or you can find us at roguemedianetwork.com slash B-W-A-A-A-K-O-T-H. That's right. And remember, you can get us anywhere you find your podcasts. Um, I'm going to try... And I guess we'll know by this Friday um, to upload the video. So as a as a network, we're in a beta with uh, Spotify uh, where we can start putting our video up on Spotify as well as YouTube. Oh, cool. So we're going to try doing that, uh, see how that works. So if you guys get a chance to test it on Spotify this week, I guess this past Monday's episode was the first one that we put up on Spotify's video. So go check it out and let us know if it's all screwed up. But uh, once again, we thank you guys for being here and uh, keep listening. Oui, Matanya. Oui, Matanya, indeed. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.